Today, myself and Dr. Benji have trapped Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola in the National League. We've put Klopp at Notts County, the team in the National League with a ton of history looking for the title this season. And we've put Pep at Wrexham, a team with a fair bit of history which has been massively overshadowed in recent times with the very rich owners coming in and pumping a ton of cash into the club to get that title victory. We've locked them into these clubs for 10 seasons and we're going to simulate these 10 years to find out who does better. So Ben, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hello, Tom. I'm good, mate. Thank you for having me on your channel, doing experiments. You've become one of the experiment kings, haven't you? So I feel like the prince in the king's kingdom. This is exciting. You've said it, not me, but I will take that now as my mantle, I think, going forward. Uh, obviously, you're a Liverpool fan. Yes. So I feel like you're going to be rooting for Klopp in this as opposed to Pep. Well, I don't, I don't really mind. I quite like both managers. If I had to pick a manager to manage Liverpool that wasn't Jurgen Klopp, I probably would pick Pep Guardiola. So I don't really mind. But I think stylistically, obviously, they both work with elite players and that's not what they're going to be doing in this. <laughs> so I'm quite excited to see how they fare. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they can adapt to life in the National League, uh, particularly with the squads that they've got at hand. Uh, they've both got some really insane attributes in the game, but I think the game probably reckons Jurgen Klopp's slightly better. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it's pretty close, isn't it? Depends what you're looking for. I mean, Guardiola's got the adaptability that Klopp's not quite as strong on, but then you look at things like level of discipline, very, very high, the mental aspects of the game, very, very high, and then tactically, Pep's actually dominating when you look at that. 18 compared to 14, you think when Klopp, Klopp's like an elite manager, 14's not that high, really. Yeah, definitely. So he's got him. So we've simulated through the first season in this save file. How do you reckon they've gotten in this first season? Obviously, only one automatic promotion spot from the National League into League Two, and then there's uh, six playoff mm. spots. How do you reckon they've got on? I would expect, I think Wrexham are slightly better. Obviously, we've done a similar thing on my channel. I reckon Guardiola's probably bested him early doors and then Klopp will be a slightly better manager early on but of course they're, are, they, are they locked in they're locked in for 10 years yes they are oh my god okay so I'm gonna go Guardiola first uh to be promoted I think Klopp might have a playoff failure but I d not that I want that to be the case I'm just guessing well Ben you're you are absolutely spot on oh, actually, absolutely right. spot on uh Wrexham win the title uh, record winning title season by the way most amount of wins at uh, highest points total ever in the National League yeah uh but Bromley pipped not county to the uh the playoff win I, I want to say Tom didn't send me the same file <laughs> like, well, I was revealed that as well as my you viewers I don't want I don't want anyone to accuse me of cheating no 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 was it, was a, it was a superb guess to be fair I'm one for one eh? yeah on. top form uh, so yeah poor poor uh, Klopp couldn't get them promoted Pep's up into uh, into League 2 which is fantastic for him Wrexham also had a really good FA Cup run as well they ended up getting to the third round of the FA Cup where they lost 3-0 to Arsenal which is not too bad to be fair um, you'd, you'd say that wouldn't yeah. you if you're a Wrexham fan 100% you know, home, home game against Arsenal not too bad yeah it was a, a good game for Gabriel Jesus Martin and Odegaard and Saka I mean they were playing Wrexham they were playing Wrexham though yeah time. but I mean they've not <sighs> okay you've got a good point but no I, I, if you're a Wrexham fan again you take that a lovely lovely home home tie and you get to see Mikel Arteta in the flesh yeah yeah, and he's a beautiful man as well, so I'm sure they'd enjoy having a look at him. That's next year, viewers, when Arteta's won the league with Arsenal. We'll do it, we'll do it with, Ars with Arteta in the, uh, in the National League. So heading into Season 2, uh, with Wrexham heading up into League 2, how do you reckon they're going to mm. fare in that first season? I reckon, I reckon there'll be a playoff push. I think the, technical, or the tactical attributes of Guardiola will be enough. And elsewhere, I think Klopp probably, because now Guardiola's gone, I think Klopp's probably in prime position to get them promoted as well. Okay, well... You're, you're kind of right. Okay, kind of suggests I'm not right. Because because Pep had a very good playoff push, actually. Uh, okay, how good? So, so good, he actually didn't need the playoffs. They won the title oh, by, me. by okay, 13 points. Oh, blimey, okay, that's uh, okay, that's strong. What do you think? You're you're a lower league football fan, Tom. Having seen Lincoln rise through the ranks a little bit recently, yeah. well, the difference between the national league and league two is not massive, right? So that's not not at all hugely surprising. No, I don't think so. Uh, particularly this season as well, you've seen uh, Oldham and Scunthorpe have been relegated last season from league two. They're now both in the relegation zone of the national league. So oh, it goes okay. to show there's really not a whole lot of difference between the league two and, and and the top teams in the national league. I would say personally. Um, yeah. But if we look at Wrexham's transfer history here, they only spent £55,000. And for the owners they've got, that's, you know, pennies for them, I suppose. Um, that's true. But they have brought in quite a few decent players. Uh, Kofi Bolmer is a really solid transfer to bring on a free. Uh, Sully Kaikai has been recently playing at uh, Wickham. Uh, Jonathan Lecco as well 
he's a former wonder kid isn't he Jonathan Lecco yeah was he at West Brom I believe he was, was years ago yeah West Brom yeah, look at that. bought for a million Lovely pounds of by uh, Birmingham in the championship and has dropped down to League 2 it's the lowest level he's played at so clearly the reputation and the money that Wrexham have has, has helped them out massively here they've also picked up uh, Sam Klukas former Lincoln City Sam Klukas played with my cousin if you're watching James uh, played with my cousin for Green Bank I've got bad memories of Green Bank I lost the cup semi-final at Green Bank um, I know we've talked about this at least 10 times I like to bring it up <laughs> <laughs> Klukas at that level is a bit outrageous isn't it, it is and this is what I mean the, the reputation of Wrexham we've got the in-game editor enabled uh 4,407 out of 10,000. That feels pretty high for a League Two club in terms of that's reputation. Strong. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, financially looking very good. That's 3.1. No, it's th- is that 31 yeah, million? That's oh, 3.1, 3.1 yeah. I can see. 3.1. Yeah, 3.1 million. 31 would be mental. Yeah. Let's go down into the National League then and have a look at Jurgen Klopp, who uh, failed to get promotion again. Oh, second back to back. This is like it's like being a Liverpool fan. It kind of <laughs> is, to be fair. Fan. Yeah, he's uh, he's reliving the Liverpool life, but at Notts County, and it's his own fault. The nine losses they had. If you look there, they've lost to uh, Spennymoor. Oh, Dulwich Hamlet. They've lost to Dulwich Sp- Hamlet. Sp- oh, it's and a Oldham. All five teams in the bottom five have lost to three of them. <sighs> Uh, do you know what? Do you know what, Tom? I didn't think I cared about Jurgen Klopp's fictional career, and now I'm very invested. It's frustrating. Out of nowhere. Now I'm seeing. Now I'm seeing the money of Pep Guardiola, <laughs> Guardiola's Wrexham. I now feel like Notts County and Body Liverpool. This is awful. It's really poor. But Notts County, you know, they've got a their reputation's not quite as high. But obviously, the promotion would have helped That's not out. Bad, though. It's, it's pretty high That's from the National bad. League, and uh, yeah. it, obviously, Wrexham's promotion would have bumped that up quite a bit too. Financially, in a pretty solid place as well. Uh, oh, for yeah. a non- in fact, they've got more money in the bank account than. Uh, the Wrexham the Wrexham have I mean really they should have been promoted it's a disgrace they really should have been yeah but it's those losses to teams yeah. like Oldham Hamlet Spennymore that have really hurt them well. there but let's head in to uh, season 3 then uh, as well because season 3 gets pretty exciting uh, as well we'll start off once again in uh, League 1 now obviously with Wrexham how do you reckon they've got on Ben? <sighs> I'm going to say what I said for, the, for League 2 is that I think there'll be a playoff push they won't quite have been promoted because they'll need a bit of a stronger squad because the, the Celtics League one slightly bigger right you've got championship teams coming down so we'll say we'll say playoffs won the league by 10 points again no you're correct with playoffs 70 points oh come on just missing no, out on automatic good. promotion eat that Pep eat that yeah have some of that they, uh, they lost to Preston 1-0 on aggregate as you can see there as well it's a pretty depressing end to a season to just draw 0-0 in your home second mm. leg you know what I mean? yeah it's, it, it be a shame it's not ideal himself. is it at all but, uh, Has he signed Kevin De Bruyne yet, or uh, have they signed any City players yet? Let's have Has a look. Back into the, There's no the City, City players, players that I can no. see on loan or anything like that. And uh, no. Sam Long is he a former Lincoln player? He's not a former Lincoln player. Sam Long. Do you do this in every video? Look for Lincoln players. Is that, is that a big? Is that a big? Thing well, I just know Sam Long is a is a place to play for Lincoln. So I just thought, ah, oh, could be the, that's the only name I recognise. I don't recognise either names. I'm afraid he loaned out Sam Clucas. In the Sam Clucas save. I can't believe this. Hey, oh to Bromley of all places. Of all places. I feel for Sam. Cluey, as, as he was affectionately known. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's, what a fall from, uh, from Grace that is for Sam Clucas. Yeah. Oh, Since all bank to Bromley. Uh, so it's the third time looking out for Jurgen Klopp. Thoughts? Well, I reckon, he, I reckon he bottles it and it's close. Well, they do bottle something, but it's not the playoffs. <gasps> it's not the playoffs. They bottle the title, though. Uh... He's up. He's up. That's the main thing. Beating Halifax on extra time, in extra time, uh, to make sure they get themselves up there. 99th minute winner. Well, we're coming for Pep now. At last. At long last. But that's that's strong. So it does prove that having like the tactical, tactical acumen, even at this level, like despite the fact they're obviously they're, they're, their wage is pretty high, it's still it's quite a big difference maker compared to the other managers in the division. Massively, yeah. I think it's really helped them out. Obviously, they've got the the money and the reputation to get the better players in as well, but it's it's, it's important to have uh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, they did bottle the title though. If we look at the the schedule, their last month, as you can see here, uh, two losses and two draws in April. Without that, that bad spell of form they would have uh... doesn't matter Tom stop trying to downplay Jürgen's achievements okay I'm sorry I'm just saying okay. that you know they're up the title should that's have been all his we'll see, how, see if they can replicate what Wrexham did when they were promoted I guess that's the challenge now right what's your prediction for this one of course we've got Wrexham in, the, in League 1 and I'm going to do what I'm going Wrexham third again Wrexham third okay. again I'm, I'm going to go Wrexham third again and I'm going to say that Notts County 
uh, get the automatic spot. I think they carry the momentum forward and go, and go up straight away. Okay. Well, we'll start off with Wrexham then. And they came fifth, oh, losing in bad. the playoffs Close. again. Uh, three points more than the previous season, but uh, way off the automatic promotion spots this time. A bit more of a competitive season for the teams that went up. What's happened to Sam Klukas? I feel like that's the real story here. Yes, sure, you come for Guardiola Klopp, but... If you stay for Sam Klukas, Sam Klukas <laughs> is in the <laughs> under-21s at 35 oh, years seconds. old. I'm sick and well, that's that's devastating. Uh, but he was named in Wrexham's seasonal best eleven in 2024. So there you go. <laughs> we've, we've got to stop making this about stuff. Drop it into Logan. League Two then. Thoughts on Klopp's progress? You said uh, yeah. you, they play off third, second or third. Second or I don't think win the title. But I guess well, uh, sadly, Ben, you're wrong. Twentieth. I'll tell you what, I've been tricked by the successes of previous seasons. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to even talk about it, Tom. Let's move let's on. Let's move on. Season five. Let's go. Let's, for the first time, let's go. A double promotion. Oh, a double promotion. Well, let's start off in League Why One. Not? And, uh, well, Lincoln lost the playoff final. I've just seen that. that that's, okay. that's thrown me off. Um, I'm, not, I'm, lef- I'm less confident now, if I'm honest. It's actually the worst season so far for Wrexham, ninth. Oh, they're, they're regressing. They're dropping. Oh, my God. There could, there could be a moment where they swap places yeah, here. This is exciting. it is quite exciting, to be fair. Uh, so, so Wrexham dropping down. Uh, the lowest points total in League One. Not making the playoffs at all in the slightest. But it was quite a competitive championship. You've got teams like Preston in there, uh, Birmingham. Uh, I mean, Bolton and Wigan are pretty too big for League One, really. Uh, and they'll have some big mm. budgets as well. Um, so, yeah, like it's a, a tough season uh, for, for Wrexham that time around. Things not quite working out for them. Into League Two, though. Hope. Don't fear, because Jürgen's got promoted, Tom. I'm confident. Here we go. Well, it, it's progress. It. It's 12th place. It's, it's 12th place, I mean, is which it, isn't too is bad it, until you realise that they've been beaten by South Shields. Yeah, I mean, it's not, well, South Shields, yeah, 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 you're right. The, the more I look at that, the worse it is. Um, I think the thing is with not like again as part of Team Jurgen now, which was not the plan at the start of the video. I suspect next season they'll be, they'll be up, Wrexham are down, and it flips on its head. Tom, let's go to season six, and we'll start off this time actually looking at uh, Jurgen Klopp in League Two because you're right. Come on, promotion happens. <laughs> promotion happens. I'm celebrating, I'm celebrating that far too much for a man that should not be invested in this at all. Third place <laughs> but, in the table. There, they've got themselves automatic. Chef Wednesday. Oh, Chef of Wednesday in administration. They get, they're out of the they're out of the league. Yeah, wow. I, I, that's a storyline I've not even spotted. Yeah, in the, looking into all Crumbs. of this, that's wild. That's bad, isn't it? I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty rare as well to see a team go into administration in FA. Yeah, the fact they've gone down. What's uh, going on financially in the minus figures? Obviously, oh god, yeah, the debts, debts of thirty four million pound of debt. I can see why it's happened. They need to clear that. They need to get on the phone to Lelujo and see if he'll invest. But obviously, you know, right. you wanted the switch to happen. Well, come on. Will that this switch happen or are they going to be in the yes, same division Tom. next season? Yes, It's happened, Tom. Tell me it's happened, Tom. It's it's not happened because they won the playoffs. They've been promoted. That's They were chasing again here at Jurgen HQ. Yeah, it's... That's heartbreaking. It's rough. Okay, oh, I've pulled my headphone out. That's how dramatic it is. Okay, well, fair play to Rex. I mean, for, scraping past Lincoln too, that's got to it, hurt. That does hurt, to be fair. Um, I'm sure Lincoln probably lost, didn't they, to, did they, to Rex? Did they scrape into the playoffs or were they comfortably in there and like nearly threw it away? Oh, my word. I've just, I've just like, seen this mid-season form here. Look at that form through December and January. That's 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 poor. That's appalling. But the, like, the later stages... Oh, they, they, they were winning games quite frequently yeah, that's, an un- that's an unbeaten run there clean sheets are plenty yeah. fair enough and I'll look at Lincoln did they lose a- oh look at the, the- <sighs> April <laughs> that's a, that's a- <sighs> what we should do Tom I think is go on to as a Lincoln I think we should go on to the League One and then look at past positions yeah Wrexham they've come literally off last Whereas day Lincoln, of the season they've got themselves in the just, playoffs if we just, last if we just day look at Lincoln's just oh. yeah that's that's not gone excellently. That's gone poor. Should we go on to season seven? Yeah, get us off my screen now. Season seven then. Obviously, Pep's in the championship. Klopp is in then in League One. Where are they finishing yes. up? I think I think it's going to be tough for Klopp. I think for first season, not a success. And I'm actually going to say Notts County are going to, are going to get relegated. I think the job's massive. The, jo- the jump from League One to the Championship is really tough season one, so I'm going to say it's not happened this time. Okay, well, looking into League One then, it's not happened, yeah. you're right. They've come 13th, which is okay. respectable. Respectable, I think. Strong, but but yeah. It's, uh, do what, it was the first season, 
as you say, respectable, that's the word. Yeah, uh, it's a platform to build off, you know, stabilise, get promotion the next season. Maybe that's what they're looking mm. for, potentially. Uh, how yeah. about the championship? What do you think is going on there? I reckon, I reckon not to count you down or just surviving like final day drama. Uh, yeah, Wrexham have come 20th. So just avoiding relegation oh there. Goodness. Oh, not final day, but still they were on the oh, brink. Yeah, I mean, 10 points tough. maybe, but you know, they've only just done enough there really. The 50 point mark's kind of what you need as a minimum, isn't it? And I think, yeah, if you're if you're newly into the championship though, again, Premier League side's coming down. That's pretty good. Like you'll take that. Pep's done well there. Can we just check on what Sam Clues is doing? Can I can only imagine he's retired, but I just think it's, I think for the, the fans of this video, we need to get yeah, unemployed scout. scouts. Yeah, that's a shame, really. Oh, he's got quite a similar birthday to me, actually. It's a, yeah, he's he's 24 days younger than me. So wow. there's, a, there's a stat. Yeah, thanks, guys. Cheers. And you know what? I, I don't think that. he's that bad of a scout. You know, for a lower league club, you know, seven, seven abilities, seven potentials, not bad. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, moving swiftly on from him then, heading into season number eight now. Okay, we're getting close now, Tom. We're getting close. Uh, we'll start off with, with Wrexham. Where do you think Wrexham have come in the championship? I think I'm going to go for, uh, 14th is my guess for Wrexham. You reckon a push forwards? A little push oh, well, hang on, I'm not. I'm not so sure now you've said that, but yeah, I'll go a slightly, slight push forwards. Well, they couldn't quite compete, 23rd. Oh my, this is drama. Drop some okay, points. down they go. Drop some Pep's points. Pep's been relegated. Finally, he's uh, he's had some bad luck and bad fortune in this experiment. Uh, really get alongside Luton and Ipswich. Into League One then, obviously with Notts County. Uh, they came 13th the season before that. Thoughts this season? Uh, I'm going to go just outside the playoffs. Not a double relegation time, I don't want to see it. Where 17th. Oh, a bit, a bit it's back. Rough, it's, a, it? it's a tough season for both the sides, really. Um, yeah, mediocre. But they're back in the same division next year. That is true, and that's the first time they're in the same league since the first yes. season. So we're finally going to see go, some Tom. like head-to-head -head action between these two now teams. Which is this good. is it. Yeah, this is what matters now. This is what counts. So the first season with them both together in the league at the same time since oh. season one. Feel good about Who's this. coming out on top? Jurgen. He's been waiting for this moment. He's been, he's been hovering. And he knows League 2 better. Or League 1 better now because he's been there for longer. So show me the money, Tom. I can see Wrexham. That's bad news. Wrexham uh, fifth. Okay. Not County Not 13. County, no, it's, to be fair, they were, they, were a, they were a Premier League. So, can I say, Promise Joseph's been superb. Yeah. I've been keeping an eye on Promise Joseph. He has been pretty decent. He's, and he's, been, he's, he's a goal machine. And despite only having 10 finishing 12 composure as well, he's... What's his what's his history? I feel like he's had top goal score a couple of times. Uh, I, well, maybe he had it in League One with Port yeah, Vale. Yeah, I think we saw got him the there. Big, got the big move to Luton in the Championship. Struggled, to be honest. Yeah, I couldn't quite make it promise. work, but it's clearly, you know, trying to get Luton mm. back to the Championship. And he, he's doing a good job of those goals. Great name as well. Yeah, really good name. And of course, fired them two promotion, way. second place. So, the good news is, Tom, as we go, we've got one more season, yeah, right? Yeah, one more season. That, am I right? Yeah. So, and so it, it all comes down to this of who's the, who's better out of Jurgen and, and Pep. And what's your answer to that? Uh, I've, you know what? I've, 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 I've been team clopped the whole way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump off <laughs> and I'm going to jump on the Pep hype train. The Pep hype train. Uh, has it yeah. come true? The answer is yes. <gasps> Take the points. But come both on. teams dropping down. Uh, Wrexham in 12th, Notts County in 19th. Uh, so not quite yeah. so successful those seasons, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, I can't believe how much I celebrate that. Um, what do you, what conclusions then do we draw from this, Tom? What's I think the conclusion what? that we've drawn is uh, Wrexham are probably a better team to start off with <laughs> than Notts County are, which is probably why they've, they've done better in general, right? Uh, but okay. I think you could maybe make the argument that that football manager, at least in this scenario, has seen. Uh, Pep as a better manager than Klopp on the grounds that you know he's been more successful took Klopp a lot longer to yeah. get out of the leagues uh, he's generally had better finishes in the divisions as well when they've been in them so I think that's kind of the conclusion we've taken what about you what do you think um, I think well, my big question is who would I rather have been a fan of during this period of time would I rather be like heavy metal football with, with Klopp or the, the tactical nuances of Pep Guardiola I think Based on the fact they saw the championship, I think you've got to give you've got to give Klopp, uh, Klopp credit, but you've got to give Guardiola the win, haven't you? Yeah. So fair, fair enough. Rex and Guardiola, they've they've won this particular duel. I think so. But um, I mean, the real sadness is that Sam Klukas probably hasn't got a job at this point. We'll double check so this as well. Uh, Sam Klukas. Oops. 
Don't have, don't have retired, Sam, please. You've still got it. Tom thinks you're... Oh, dear Lord. I don't want to see that. No results found. Oh, my God. Uh, we have got a bonus season for you, though. Oh, fantastic. My so, Lord. so okay. what I've done Excellent. here, essentially, is I've trapped Klopp and uh, Pep at these clubs for 10 seasons. But in order to do right. that, you have to arrange a future transfer. So at the end of this Excellent. season, I've put them back at Liverpool and Man City. Oh, crumbs. Oh, crumbs. And I've simulated oh, okay. season 11 to find out oh, what's my God. going on. He didn't tell me this, viewers. He did not tell me this. This is breaking. Now, what okay. is really interesting, actually, is because they've had a future transfer arranged for 10 years, I never put a different manager in charge. I just thought the game would just hire someone in, you know, as it normally oh, would yeah, do. yeah, of course. Turns out, for 10 seasons, uh, Liverpool and Man City have not had a single manager. They've been managerless <gasps> for 10 seasons. Um, so I'd like you to guess how they've done. I think City will, will have done better because Erling Haaland's cool, but that's bizarre, isn't it? That they would that they wouldn't hire anyone because yeah. they knew that they were coming in ten yeah. years. So I think I think City would have done slightly better. Are you thinking they've won titles? Or are you thinking they're like mid? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I still think they'll have won titles. Basically, there's the Champions League, Premier League, League Cup, uh, FA Cup, right? Let's call that forty trophies okay. uh, available across mm. ten seasons. Less confident. Go on. So between the two of them. They won 27 titles. Wow. Which is wild. Flipping heck. Yeah. That's that's more than they probably would do with, with Klopp. Man. <laughs> yeah, it's Iron. wild, isn't it? No manager. So uh, Liverpool won three Premier Leagues. City won five. Uh, Liverpool won four yeah. FA Cups. City won three. Uh, Liverpool that. won two League Cups and City won four League Cups. And they both won three Champions Leagues each. Wow, that's in, in 10 years. That's insane. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> wild they've done that without a manager. Um, let alone yeah, in general incredible. I think at the past winners of the Champions League uh, Liverpool lost a final as well in there so they, they made another final as well to get there lost the City as well that stings that, that does sting to be fair and Arsenal won one yeah Arsenal so, had a know, pretty decent keep, end towards his experiment hold on. hold on Gunners so what happened to uh, Wrexham and Notts County after that so we'll look at Wrexham first did they uh, who did they fact, hire in they hired in uh, Mark Fotheringham and he wasn't the only manager they actually brought in some guy called Andy Priest, who was sacked after oh, 137 oh days yeah there's not a good season either Tom I can see that at yeah time. 19th in League 1 and then they brought Mark Fotheringham in look into League 1 actually as well we can see that uh, Wrexham 19th uh, Notts County actually had a really good season 9th place uh, they, they overtook Ir irritatingly then better with yeah them. actually yeah yeah <laughs> irritatingly were better off who came in who came in and, uh, and took them to glory? This guy. Wow, what a name. Terence I don't know who that Van is. Uh, he's, he's wanted as well. He's wanted, yeah. He's wanted by whoa, Bristol Everybody. City, Derby, Huddersfield, Fucking Reading heck. and Stoke. He, I'd agree. Yeah, definitely. Uh, most recently, in real life, a player at Stevenage, by the looks of things. Uh, this, is his first, this is his first manager gig, actually. Wow, fair first point. First manager gig. That's, that's, that's incredible. Yeah, he's done pretty well out of all of that. But yeah, obviously, we simulated another season with Pep and Klopp back in charge. Uh, looking into the Premier League for this season, how well do you think City have done? How well do you think Liverpool have done? Uh, do you know what? I'm going to... Because because I think Pep won that... Oh, okay, I can see at the top, Tom. It says City oh, are holders. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. I think City win the league. They did win the league. Oh, no. Liverpool are eighth oh. place with Klopp. Uh, I'm never coming on this channel again. If this has been a setup. He got sacked. Oh, well, at least he can go back to Notts. Well, maybe Wrexham. So that's what's going to happen if Jurgen Klopp gets dropped down into uh, the National League. Uh, he's going to get sacked from Liverpool in 10 years' time. That's that's true to life and it's what will happen. And, and clearly Guardiola is the better manager as well. Uh, we've done another video over on Ben's channel. What have we done, Ben? Uh, we've compared the careers. A similar thing. We've locked Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland at two sides. Actually, in fact, it is Wrexham and Notts County. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't know. Uh, and we'll see how those two boys get on in the 15-year career that we've given them.